time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, February 8th. What a day. For oh, Zero yeah. TV, right? Oh, yeah. What do we got here? 87 low, high of 97. Go back to yesterday, too. Yeah, besides that little yep. pump in the late morning or mid-morning. Yeah, it's been in a 10-point range for a day and three quarters. And it can stay there. It owes us. So I've got, uh, of course, as we all always do as traders, we, you know, we wish we would have had more on, right? <laughs> but um, here's what I've done today. So my one DTE iron condor hit 45%. That was good for about 3000. My, I did a, I did the Thursday AM two to one. That was good for 50%, about 2200. And then in my other account, I did some re-entries. Now that's what a daily P and L curve is supposed to look like, right? Oh yeah. I mean, that doesn't get much better than that. Um, so in this one on the re-entries, I did I hit one, one closed out for 90%. Um, I just I just ratcheted my stop down. I never even took profits until 90%. So that was good for 3,000. And then another one is currently at 84%. I've got a profit target at 90 on that one as well. And then I, another re-entry uh, came in and it's at, it just got filled not too long ago. So just got the one position on and it's this one here. It actually took inverted strikes, but uh, somewhere between 90 and 95 would work. Yeah, as far as power hour today, I'm not really interested in adding any more. We're talking about six yeah. bucks at the money straddle. Yeah, I've, I've uh, closed out my two AM iron condors. I almost had to force the the lunchtime number one that I'm in and uh, booked 20% on that. So I've got four contracts left. And like Steve just said, when it's like this, I'd almost rather just scale out a little slower instead of adding a new position when the premiums are so low. So like, you know, I got four contracts left here. I can cut one, cut one more, or cut two, then one and one instead of going two and two. You know, we had that we had the 30 year bond auction and Vic started popping. I thought, okay, maybe we're gonna get a little something, something. And it was nothing. I mean, we got a little one little five minute push up right to the top of the range. But um oh yeah, I, I do have a Rick on. I did that in my tradier account. And that one's not not doing so hot. So that would be <laughs> my negative for the day. Uh, Bumblebee. Thought, oh, go ahead. I was just saying on my Rick, I just thought, man, we've been in like, like we just said, we've been in this consolidation for mm -hmm. so long. It's like at some point we're going to move, right? Not yeah, I so fully much. expected it. Yeah, I fully expected it. I was looking at my my lunchtime iron condor. I actually skewed it a little bit to the downside because I fully expected to maybe push up through the highs of day, but it never did. Uh, Bumblebee, the Zoom link is in the trade plans channel. 
I believe. Yep. Trade plans channel. I'll repost it here. I just wanted to let everybody get into power hour so they don't get, didn't get confused. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was really, I was about 20 minutes ago. I was looking to maybe add one, but when the market moved down here a little bit, because I, I skewed my lunchtime number one to the downside. So it was testing my my downside. So I was looking to add one and I just couldn't get $5. I almost I almost put one on for like 490 honestly, but uh, centered one, but chose against it. And then it ended up popping up. On, so it was a good, good no trade. I'll be interested to see if it does break highs of day here, you know, hour and five minutes left. So anything can happen. Your Rick, your Rick may come profitable. Yeah. How he's just booking profits. I'm going to, uh, I mean, it's a discretionary Rick anyway to begin with. So I'm probably going to, if we get anywhere close to getting some profits, I'm at least going to close some out. So this is one of my re-entries. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for 90% to close that out. It's currently at about 84 and then this is my, the one I just entered not too long ago. Will the S and P break five thousand? Yep, forty nine ninety nine point eight nine yesterday. Thought for sure we'd blow through that today. Mm hmm. Same here. All right, let's take a look around. Nasdaq is slightly green. Our little buddy Ruddy, a little Ruddy. Look at that little Ruddy go. It's up a percent and a half. Uh, Dow's flat, gold flat, silver is up almost one and a half percent. Um, notes and bonds are red, 10 year yield up almost two percent, oil up three and a half, natty gas down three and a half, soybeans up a half percent, wheat down two percent, corn down a little bit. Euro and the pound flat, Bitcoin up about two and a half percent. VIX at 12.87. Kelvin, when you decide not to take profit targets for today and adjust stop down, do you adjust it to price? So yeah, that so you know, I've been kind of testing NTT, I've been testing some other bot re-entry. You know, obviously, for those of you who use Trade Steward, they just came out with trailing stops today or last night, and then another feature of it today. Um, so today was it was more of testing. One thing I'm I'm thinking about doing, kind of starting March first, is I'm going to allocate some money to a to to one account. You know, I always I trade different strategies in in a few different accounts, so I've I've never been able to really compound. And so one thing I'm considering doing for March is leaving one account to only do a specific re-entry strategy in and then in and, and compounding this the position size. So I've that was part of my testing today. And so the way that that I was doing my re-entries today was um when I got to 30% profit. I wouldn't take any off, but then I would ratchet my stop down. So 
like the, I, I did, I did a couple different versions. I did a, a three to two version puts the calls. And I also did a one-to-one -one version. Um, and so I was using a, a fixed stop. Um, so on my, my re my three to two version, it was a $12 stop. And then I ratcheted it down to three on my one-to-one -one version. It was a $6 stop and I ratcheted it down to two once they hit 30%. So that's, that's what I did today. I wonder if price will Auckland. Sorry, go ahead, Chad. I wonder if price will just stop at five thousand today. PayPal down eleven percent on earnings. I mean, you could do a five thousand straddle right now if you wanted to. On the green side, Riot blockchain up thirteen percent. Oh wow. Disney up 12% on earnings. Wow. I didn't notice that earlier. Yeah. Just not going to lose my profits during power hour right now with this little air, little room for air. Firm up 10%. Coinbase up eight. Crypto stocks having a day. My lunchtime number one's almost dead center. Build it forty percent. Lunchtime number one. So how many trades did you end up entering today, Chad? Three. And they are both, all three going to be winners. So that's what I'm saying. Like I skewed this last one a little bit to the upside. You know, you got started out to the left of center, which ended up being perfect based on what's happening right now. So I got two of my eight contracts left. So I'm just going to try instead of getting out at finishing, getting out of both of them at 60%. Since I'm not entering a new position, I'm just going to try to get out of one. And then I'll see if I can get out of my last one at 80%. It's very easy to come into power hour when you've been up for the day and have a lot of confidence and, you know, you're feeling good. And then sometimes you can get a little greedy and uh, you can lose, lose a lot of your profits. So it should also be part of your risk management when you're thinking about where you're at with your profit loss throughout the day. Yeah, traditionally my uh, 
my allocation to position size has been significantly better for power hour than anything else. And so for me, I would just, it didn't matter up or down. Mm -hmm. I would just go into power hour doing the same thing. Right. But, um, but yeah, on a discretionary basis, if you're, especially the way you're mm -hmm. doing it, you definitely right. want to decide on that or have it pre-planned regardless of what happens. Five point range and and twenty twenty point wide strikes. That was a that was a beautiful thing. My three two needs a little pullback here. So if 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 SPX really wants to accommodate me today. What it's going to want to do is just pull back a little bit. Let me get out of this one at 90%. Wait for this one to at least let me lock in some profits and then give me a give me a big rip through 5,000 to end the day for Rick. I mean, you know, since we're asking. I'd do it for you. Thanks, Chad. Anybody new or, uh, you know, have questions, obviously we got a lot of time here. Feel free to post. And, um, I just posted in the chat again. It's also in the zero trade plans channel. Dr. Chad will be presenting, you know, the details around his, uh, methodology of how he's been trading. And that is 30 minutes after the bell today. And yes, if you can't be there, it will be recorded. I ended up, um, so in my brother's account, I ended up, I don't, ha uh, I don't have the same trade on in his that I've got, uh, in the one in mine that I post, uh, the fills in discord. Uh, but I did take the 5,000 strat on his with 30 points wide, built at 625. But yeah, that's not the account that I post my. Screenshots. And his account isn't as big as mine, so I only did four contracts. So 5,000 would be a pin for that one. Uh, DRB, I... Um... You know, it's been a while since I looked at that by day of the week for my actual statistics, but there was a period, you know, early in 2023 when Thursday was terrible. And then there was a period in 2023 when Thursdays were the best and Wednesdays were the worst and Wednesday used to be the best. So personally, I don't get too caught up in day of the week specifically for power hour. Um, but you know, I know, I know a lot, a lot of people really tailor their tests more to days of days of the week, but, um, you could, you could certainly run a, run a quick test in, in, uh, option Omega to get a better idea about that. Uh, Oscar, we can't tell you how to manage your own trades. We can just show you what we're doing, but, um, you know, it goes both ways. You know, you're going to have situations where you wish you would have taken it. And it, you know, turns into a loser. There's going to be situations where you're going to wish you let it ride because you could have held it all the way to expiration. So 
you know, you, that that's really just a personal choice that you've got to kind of work through. And, you know, if you want to do some testing in Option Omega, that's a good way to do it too, is just, you know, look at different strategies or, you know, something similar to what you're doing. And then, you know, look at, look at how that tests out with that position size of doing one contract of, you know, what you, you could find, you know, what might give you the most confidence as far as when to take it off. And DRB going back to uh, <clears throat> going back to that comment about days of the week. You know what we do know is that, and you can you can see this by just looking at your platform on Mondays and looking at VIX. VIX is nearly always elevated going into Mondays. You know, they pump that premium in over the weekend, and so <clears throat> um, Mondays have traditionally been the best. I mean, there's no way around it because of that elevated IV, both morning trades, afternoon, power hour, whatever it is, Mondays, there's no question have been the best. Um, now, Mondays mornings have, have actually struggled recently, but, um, and so I, you know, there is, that's definitely a, a factor on, uh, for Mondays for me, you know, and then, and then today on Thursday there, you know, there's a two to one puts to calls that just continues to do really well really, really well. Back tests all the way back to May of 2022, over 90% win rate. It was, it was the one I took today that was a winner. And, and so I trade it. Now, is that an anomaly or is that really a Thursday pattern that will continue? Who, you know, we don't know, but, um, so, you know, one of the, you've probably heard this quote by Van Tharp. It's, you know, we're not trading the markets. We're trading our beliefs about the markets. So it's, it's something that you'll develop over time and you'll decide, you know, what kind of filters and criteria you want to use and different, you know, in this, in this community, there's a lot of different, you know, opinions about that. So, but, you know, remember these everyday expiration options have only been around since May of 2022. So the longer we trade them, the more data we'll have, the more conclusions we can make about these different things. But just going back to May of 2022, there's, you know, that's still not a, especially if you're looking at a trade one day a week, going back that, you know, that's, there's, there's a lot of statistical evidence still to be, still to be gathered about that. And, you know, really, I, I get people ask me about, and I'll talk about this in my presentation, but if you're doing like what I'm doing, like it's, there's no set way of, you know, scaling out. You can scale out whatever you feel is best for you. I've had people tell me that they do two contracts and they get out at 10% on their first one, and then they get out at 25% on their second one. Uh, you know, so it just whatever you feel comfortable with. SPX 4998. Currently Give me 5, trading at highs of day. I'm, I'm just betting, betting it's going to stop at 5,000. I'm betting it's going to go through. Yeah, it might. <laughs> if I was a betting man, actually, uh, <laughs> I probably would bet that it would go through it as well. I just happen to have a 5,000 straddle. You're just talking your book? Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> I'm setting two points, obviously, from a pin right now. So it can, you know, if it gets up to 5,000, I'll probably get out of 20%. I'm, you know, state is starting to decay now. So, 
honestly, if I get out of Nick K's not with us today. He had to run. I saw he posted. So I can't I can't bet Dick K on this one. <clears throat> oh, here he comes. He's chiming in. He must be listening at the doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> they got doctors on islands he couldn't stay away well he, he has his own personal doctor oh gotcha yeah gotcha in-house on-site doctor just for him he's got to keep dick in that tip-top shape <laughs> oh he's not on the stream he's just seeing the chat <laughs> tell somebody tell dick what's K what the bed is Will price stay below or above 5000 Chopping at 97. Dead center. My In my account, my last, my lunchtime iron condor, dead center is 49.97. That's where it's at right now. I hate when Dick and I agree. He'll probably come back and say the under. Elliot, you still you still holding your Rick? Waiting for a late day push. So what gets you out of the valley? Um, let's see. I got it in trade here. Let me see. Looks like I need <laughs> above 506. 5006. You know Dick K or you know Dick K pretty well. <laughs> I knew it. He just wants some action. <laughs> Double or nothing. Yeah, he still hasn't uh I've been bugging him to take advantage of his barbecue situation. He hasn't done it, so Jeez, that's something you want to take advantage of. All right, double or nothing, Dick K. You're on, buddy. Yeah, I think he's just doing that to be nice to me so he can get out of getting his barbecue. He tried to he tried to get out of it, and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm sending you barbecue. Did you see uh, what Andy Reid had the Chiefs sent to him in Vegas? No. Q39 barbecue, just mass tons of boxes of Q39 barbecue at the airport yesterday. He had it sent himself or somebody sent it to him? For the team. Sent to for the team. Oh, gotcha. Currently, the probability of the bet is favors Dick K. There's a 52% probability we end under 5,000. 
47, 48% close above. Got to give Dick a little edge. I don't know about the bulk discount. I'm sure they did for Andy Reid and the Chiefs. Yeah. I didn't know they shipped. The only one I thought shipped was a Jack Stack. Yeah, it was crazy. It was just boxes of Q39 at the airport. Somebody snapped a picture of Still waiting on my 90% on this guy. Forty nine ninety nine. Testing all time highs almost. Apparently the uh, the market has come become immune to the Fed speakers. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard this over and over. Uh, Michael Todd, you you took the bait on the Ricks for sale. Sorry about that. Yeah, they were on clearance for a reason. That's right. Tried to get up to all-time highs. Didn't quite get there. VIX got down to 12.81 yesterday, currently at 
This one's still sitting at 83%. Oh, making another run. I'm out of 20% of my straddle. I did take, I did a, uh, you know, I was, I wasn't here for power hour yesterday, but I did do a, uh, well, I did a discretionary, just a 5,000 straddle. Cause I might, thought we were heading there yesterday. Um, or no, anyway, I, I ended up getting stopped out of that one. Oh yeah. I was on this last little push down. I got stopped out and then, and then I pinned my tranche three. I launched them manually from my phone. So yeah, made a little bit yesterday in power hour. And then my PM iron condor pinned or hit 90%. Wait a second. You were at your kid's function yesterday and you're trading power hour. Yeah, from my phone. Dude, I called it yesterday. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I said it when I was live yesterday. I was like, he's trading power hour. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Yeah, I used my uh, trade steward bots and just oh, launched man. it manually. I totally said that. <laughs> I think he chimed in like at the beginning of power hour on something. I posted, I good luck, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. And I was like, he's trading, man. <laughs> you know, that power hour FOMO, it's a real thing. Yeah. Uh, I even did the Fred Flintstone bet, 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 bet. <laughs> yeah, even though it's not a bet, but I like that. You know, you know what I mean? Most of these yeah. people, most of our members probably don't. I weren't around when the Flintstones were on. It's one of my favorites growing up. It's just, you know, power hours is part of me. It's just part of my DNA. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. And they don't make cartoons like they used to. Saturday morning cartoons still a thing? And you get them twenty four seven now. I mean, it was a special, YouTube. yeah. It was a special thing to wake up on Saturday morning and be able to, yeah, it was. watch them. My parents limited me to two hours with the cartoons, and I had to go outside. <laughs> so I had to be very specific about the ones that I wanted to watch. <laughs> very true naughty dog very true I'm trying to remember smurfs was a big one yeah top david and goliath and thunderbirds yeah, i don't remember, remember that one yeah tom and jerry was a oh ducktales that was in that, that was after school though i don't think that was a saturday morning yeah ninja turtles I was, I was a big fan of those. Yeah, you have to you'd have to brush home from school to catch ducktails. Forty nine ninety nine again. It's trying. It's trying. Rick is the only thing that really wants over 5,000. I, I just, I don't, I don't care if I lose money in my positions. I really just want to beat Dick K in the bet. That's, that's my biggest position right now. Scrooge. 
Scrooge jumping his money money pit. Six hundred and forty four million buy side early indication. So in case we got people who don't understand, we got some new people, Steve. What exactly does that mean when you say that? Yeah, so the um so the in the if you go to the zero DTE course channel, there's a I put out a little mini course about it. Um oh wait no, where did I put that? Trade plans, maybe. Yeah. yeah, in the zero DTE course channel. Yeah, trading the market on close and balance. So, so there's you can watch that for more details. But what what happens is all the big money managers, your State Streets, Vanguard, Black Rocks, um, Fidelities, they all, you know, manage obviously billions, trillions of dollars. And, you know, if you're contributing to your IRA, your 401k, all that, there's, there's inflows. And then people, some people are taking money out. Those are outflows. And so all those firms are required to report what their net inflow or outflow will be at the end of the day. And then they have to execute that order in the, in the form of a market on close order so it executes as a market order right on the close. And so these early indications, I don't really know um, as far as what they just, they have to give kind of an early indication of what they think their flows will be. But then at the 10 minutes until the bell, that's the final number that they're held to that they have to execute the order on. And so that's why you're, you'll see if there's a big MOC number, you know, over 3 billion to the sell side or 3 billion to the buy side that it'll, that the, that the market will a lot of times move in that last 10 minutes. And so that's, uh, that's what that is. So what I've been doing is if, if there's a, a number that's greater than 3 billion, if it's to the buy side, I will buy futures. If it's to the sell side, I'll sell futures and try to catch, you know, quick, quick little, quick little move. And then from a, power hour, you know, zero DTE perspective, you know, it's just good to know if you're in a position, if there's a big number, you, you're probably going to expect a move in that direction. Mm -hmm. So you, you may want to consider doing something. Especially if you're in a straddle. Benji, you always attach longs to your shorts. Yeah. I, I typically have new longs. I typically do new longs. Uh, it, you know, like a day like today, though, where the price hasn't moved, like I closed my longs out, you know, for five cents, 10 cents when the position, when the uh, position was, uh, when the shorts were, were closed. Just got filled on 60% of my lunchtime number one. So instead of a new position, like I was saying earlier, I just took one contract off. So instead of, I still now I have one left instead of, so I can try to close this at 80%. It's sitting dead center. So, anybody do the one DTE today? I think that's the first time I've had one of those hit the profit target before Power Hour even started. Trade Scout, Fish. Hey, Fish, thanks for uh, thanks for that update on portfolio margin through Schwab too. That's interesting info.
I had not heard that. SPX forty nine ninety eight, just hovering, waiting to rip Dick K's heart out at the end of the day. They call me. I'm gonna say nope, no, no. Sorry, not doing it. Michael Todd, do you does your account have portfolio margin access? If not, it's it's a non factor. If you're a standard margin account, it wouldn't apply. Yeah, so it wouldn't it wouldn't apply. It's just the way it, that Schwab looks at portfolio margin accounts for for buying power on positions versus how TD does. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Kelvin. I've I've I keep hearing discrepancies. Certain people saying they have Schwab and it nothing changed, and other people who have Schwab and say it. They're treating them like naked, naked options. So I don't know. I haven't, I haven't uh, been graced with the presence of being on Schwab yet. So not sure. <clears throat> I, I don't think there's any update on Schwab. They're just, um, sounds like they, you know, all the, all the TD accounts will be transferred over to Schwab by May. Um, and Jordan at uh, Trade Steward seems to think that the API will be out before that. So that's about the only detail I, I know. All right, this well, re entry is getting close to my 90%, currently at 88%. I'm going to go ahead and press my bet with Dick K and just go ahead and buy some ES futures here too into the close. Got to make sure and let him know. And this thing is just uh, hovering near my profit target, not quite hitting.
ahead and close this one. Got it at 260. And I still have this one. Which I'll let ride. Uh, Kelvin, it's not it's not in Discord. It was just emailed to those who registered, but um, email um, <clears throat> email Landon at support at navigationtrading dot com, and he can send you the link. Kelvin, you can also have your friend book a Zoom call with me. That as well. In fact, if anybody has anybody interested in learning more about trading, send them my link. There's the link. It's a cute pink shirt, Chad. You know, that's when I was a principal. So I always would match my ties, my shirts, my watch bands, and my socks. The uh, ladies I work my my three secretaries always got a kick out of all that. I would actually match my underwear too, but nobody ever saw that. <laughs> Stay yeah, tuned I, on that white tiger. We've actually yeah. tried a few different kind of third party platforms to track that kind of stuff, but they were just clunky and I didn't like them. So we never, we never kicked that out, but um, that's kind of, that's actually coming soon. I think, I think we've got a solution for that. Yeah, it's just really not doing much right now. Forty nine ninety eight. Yeah, I don't know what Schwab's. I need to. I need to talk to Schwab. I'm not sure what their structure is. I've just been kind of holding off until everything gets cleared up as far as the accounts transition, but. Yeah, especially now that there's uh, Vegas Michelle, especially now that there is um, trailing stops. You know, that I was, A, I was, I was wanting to work through all the nuances and I was kind of waiting for that to come out. And so, yeah, I'm going to start. I probably won't do a class necessarily, but I, I'm going to, I'll do a series of videos that just on different, I'll do kind of a, high level overview and then I'll pick out some specific kind of most most used features and try to hit those and then obviously get feedback from those of you who use it and we'll we'll build a little library of stuff SPX hanging around 97 I'll just get on oh my uh is that my straddle uh 
Oh no. I had another position on in my brothers that just got filled at 40%. Still at 644 million to the buy side. Final number is out in five minutes. Yeah, I'm on team 9095 as well for this one. Slowly digging myself out from that wretched start in February. I don't even want to hear about a drawdown from you, Chad. I've, the last two days, I've cut my red month in half, that I've had, had so far in half, pretty much. Nice data. It's always good. It's such a great feeling to feel that 20%. You hear that 20% ding, but it's an even better feeling to hear that 40% ding. VIX, new lows of day. Dick K is probably in there sitting down with his doctor. His doctor's like, sir, I need you to uh, drop your pants. He's like, hey, hang on, hang on. I got I to gotta check the S&P. Coming down, 95. Did not like 5,000, huh? It's interesting. Two days in a row, 5,000 rejected it.
I've seen what 10 minutes can do. Could get up to 5,010 in the next 10 minutes. 850 million sell side. So pretty low number, but it did flip from buy to sell. Nice, Michael Todd. Your daily almost 4K. Uh oh. No. Uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh Dick K. 5,000's a pin for me. Don't look now. <laughs> Just filled 40% of my straddle. Hey, Wazawa. Uh, check the trade plans channel right below this one. You'll see it. I've got over 5K and Dick K has under 5K. MOC. I needed a big, I need a bigger MOC number is what I needed. I'm not sure if it's going to give it enough gas. Nope, settling back into 95s. I don't know, man. Nice, White Tiger. Nice. There you go, Naughty Dog. Stick to your guns. Trust me, it's hard. I know. I that first month I was up 60k paper trading, and I won another six weeks. Come on, go get me a pin at five thousand. Not that it matters. I only have a couple contracts left. I just don't think it liked it. 5,000. I don't know. Good job, Elliot. Nice job, Anil. What did it open at today? It opened at back down below 95. It opened at 49.95 today. <laughs> sure did. Get Rick back up there. Is going to settle in the valley, it looks like. So we get a Swift move here in the last five minutes. Nice job, Theta. Well, at least I made enough money today to send Dick Cave barbecue times two.
Five minutes to go. Unless the SPX got a big jump in them. <laughs> now, now he wants my beef broth. That stopped out of my straddle, darn it, on that little down move. VIX cracking new lows as we fade into the close. That's it, Naughty Dog. I finished uh, plus 3,133 in my brother's account. I'm going to be over right, 4K in mine. There it goes. I'll go ahead and close this one. Oh, man. My straddle would have been nice right now. Close my last contract at 50 cents. So whatever percent that is, that's my... That was my lunch time. Yep. So ended the day. On my re entries, fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, thirty one hundred. And then on my One DTE, 3,000 AM Iron Condor, 2,200. Nice little day. Yep, 44.95 for me. Now if we could just get a little rip into the close above 5,000, that would just seal it. <laughs> that, would just put, that would just be icing on the cake. Yeah, yeah, Rick. I forgot about Rick. Yeah, he's done. He's toast. Vic's fallen. Forty nine ninety five, right where we started. It's crazy. Right where we closed yesterday, right where we opened today. We're going to close there. We got one minute. Howdy. Six iron condors all green. Very nice. Thirty seconds. I need three points in thirty seconds, please. <laughs> wow! Look at it. Oh, would it, man. Man. it would have oh, pinned baby. my straddle. Let's go. It Let's go, Dick K. It would have pinned in my straddle. Get up there. Get up there. Close. Oh my god! <laughs> it would. It would have pinned my straddle. <laughs> Get up there. Uh, oh come on <laughs> what a tease, what uh, yeah, a I... tease. <laughs> I can't win 
<laughs> I'm never betting Dick K again. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So uh Chad, 30 minutes from now, we'll be presenting his uh trading strategy. I'll repost the uh the link here in the chat here in a minute. Uh all right, and then live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is the ninth. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning, and then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. For those of you who are joining us with Chad, see you in a bit. If not, see you in the morning. Cheers. See you a bit.